grass to asphalt. Extreme. Duff and Cindy here. We are at North Carly Regional Park and we have a uh, pleasantly cool day right now. It's about 70 degrees and overcast, so it's nice uh, to not have to be sweating already. We have the uh, X, the Backfire Ranger X1 and the uh, One Wheel XR along today. Yeah. Oh, happy St. Patty's Day, yeah? Yep. As you can tell, I'm really into St. Patty's Day because I, I have a lot of green on and... Um, oh, this is way in there. We're, we're, we're going to be, uh, instead of drinking coffee, I'm going to drink beer for St. Patty's Day. I'm just kidding, now I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> Look of shock on my face. Mm -hmm. I'm my yep, pants so anyways, up. we're gonna get get uh, padded up and get rolling. The um, water park is actually open today, March 16th or whatever. 17th? What is today's date? St. Patty's Day. 17th? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, water park's actually open on weekends now. Wet roads. Gotta avoid that on your one wheel. Maybe not as much on a one wheel pint though, who knows? And he's cruising on the Ranger with it no longer makes a tire scrubbing noise on hard surfaces. Yeah, I did. It didn't bother Cindy. What's that? Okay. So even even though you're in the high speed mode, see, it's, it's easy to cruise slow on the Ranger because it has the better hobby wing speed controller. All right, Cindy? You know what now is a good time to say? Like and subscribe. I got it. Yeah, I got, oh. it. Okay, I got it. You know, Dunkin' Donuts, I love it, but it really gets annoying when you get a lid that leaks. I've moved it to different positions and it's still leaking all over me. Damn it. Could be what? My nerves. Nerves. I should have done lotion. Or lotion? <laughs> so you should have done lotion. So yep, there we go. Water park open. They just replaced all those slides in the off season. But I don't remember them opening for weekends this early in the year. It's, it's cool. I'm glad that they are. But uh, that is not the way they've been operating for uh, quite a few years. Being beast. Pretty good. I mean, that's a, that's a deep bowl down there. Yeah, probably a drainage. There's probably a drainage uh, ditch right there. All right, whatever. Cindy and I are tandem off-roading. I do get a little nervous on the one wheel because the grass is a little bit wet. And uh, this tire on wet grass, if you try to power it at all, it's just gonna spin. Sure. For this? Yeah. yesterday's video saw that we got a flat in the dual tron in the back tire again yesterday on the ride and uh happy to report that it's already been fixed as i as i hoped it was uh, easier than the first time cindy and i are getting extreme extreme on the back fire extreme on the one wheel Whoa. sure yeah Have, you have a brace, mate. Yeah. Yeah. One wheel pint. Looks cool. Yeah, the pint. Okay. So the pint, yeah, based on its name, pint stands for pint size, basically. It's a smaller version of the one wheel. It's about two inches shorter, and I believe it's a 10% more narrow. Um, doing that off memory. Has a 700-watt uh, motor. I think the motor, strength-wise, is very similar to the... Um, 
the XRM Plus. So yeah, the um, top speed of the plane is about 16 miles. Or 16, yeah, 16 miles an hour. Uh, has a smaller battery, of course. Range is about the same as a stock plus, which they no longer are selling, by the way. Uh, six to eight miles, they said. It's lighter, I, I believe. The weight was 23 pounds. Has an integrated uh, handle, which which uh, has a magnetic mechanism to keep it retract it out of the way when you're not using it, which is a really cool feature. And it also has an LED light on the top of the deck, so you can actually get feedback uh, regarding your battery level, foot pad sensor detection, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, just looking down, because right now on an XR or Plus, you cannot get that information. And all those features are really cool. Yeah, and the design is a little bit more rounded, a little bit more polished looking. But what the most shocking thing about the one wheel pint is the price. A listed price of $950, almost half the price of a one wheel XR. I guess that's something that Future Motion was really aiming towards was to get a, uh, a device with a price point below $1,000. Because that kind of can be price, obviously, can be a barrier, barrier to entry for some people, a lot of people. So I think it's a really smart business move from their standpoint to try to get uh, the one-wheel experience into more people's hands. I think they have, they have three main colors available instead of just blue, which is different. Again, a, a departure from what they uh, historically have done. And they also have uh, color matching accessories, color matched fenders. Um, yeah, that's another thing that, that they've just released is a bunch of uh, color matching fenders and bumpers for the uh, conventional one wheel. So they are expanding their horizons as far as allowing people to uh, customize their boards more, which is good. And it's funny, in the one wheel community, you know, I'm a member of the uh, one wheel group on Facebook, the one wheel owners group. There was um, uh, both positive and negative, um, a little bit more negative than I think was justified to be honest with you. A lot of people had a knee-jerk reaction that uh, this was uh, a joke and then they thought that the pint was a toy and just aimed at kids and uh, I don't think that's the case at all and uh, some people have kind of stepped back from that initial negative reaction but I think the pint, the pint in retrospect is going to be a big success for future motion. In my viewpoint is anything that um, you know helps the company at least hopefully leads to you know more R&D on their flagship product you know on the XR you know, to make that bigger better faster stronger so yeah I think it's a win-win I think people that were um, initially overly negative <clears throat> Jimmy Chang um, you know they, they might reevaluate that viewpoint in a year or two and see what uh, see what comes to be and they had a nice deal if you ordered the pint right after the announcement. They threw in a mud guard, uh, free shipping, and a couple of throw ins as well. So I think uh, I think it's going to be a well received product despite the initial uh, negativity by some. It's a Cindy's, uh, Cindy's tired, so she's doing a couple things with the car. I'm just going to ride around for a few more minutes. What was I talking about? Oh, the pint, yeah. The pint looks cool. Feel free to leave your uh, your pint thoughts and ideas below. I mean, I'm already thinking of scenarios like they're supposed to be opening a employee fitness center on our, on our government campus, which is probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter or a half mile away from my office. And I was thinking, man, if I had a pint, I could just keep it keep it at, op, at the office and uh, hop on there, go to the gym, and uh, ride it back. It'd be kind of cool, but I think it's going to be a much more commuter-friendly vehicle. It's easier to, to carry because it's smaller, lighter, uh, built-in handle. So, yeah, definitely not a not, not a uh, off-road cruising beast. I don't think. I mentioned, but there actually are plans to build a park similar in size and scope to this and i think technically slightly bigger uh, out by me uh, probably within uh, three miles of, of where i live or where we live so yeah that would be kind of awesome including a water park actually a water park as well so 
Um, I think they're talking about breaking ground on that late this year. I have to double check. I'm sure it'll be, you know, three or four years until it will be completed. But uh, if it does happen, that would be an awesome, awesome addition to uh, our immediate surroundings. So extreme. Grass to asphalt. Extreme. Extreme. So stopping there just reminded me uh, one other feature about the pint that I forgot is it has uh, something called shore stop technology and what that basically means is, is uh, what reminded me is me stopping there with the one wheel XR one of the hardest things for beginners and even people that aren't such beginners is uh, sometimes it's a little much uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass to uh, stop on an XR and dismount which requires you to relieve pressure on one of the two foot pad sensors in the front it kind of requires you to do an awkward heel lift or toe lift while maintaining the board in a more or less stationary position with the um, pint you have an option you can turn it on or turn it off but you have an option to stop by simply coming to a stop and then just backing up like a, a couple inches as soon as it senses that, that reversion direction it shuts off so uh, the thought the thought process is is that's a much easier technique for someone to master so uh, that's a good idea and I'm, I'm curious if they're going to if it's something that is hardware dependent or something that they might actually offer on the uh, XR and plus as well I don't know but yeah it's a good idea I think I am uh, weaving in and out of caterpillars on the road okay. for whatever reason there's a ton of caterpillars on the uh, path right now and I'd rather not smash them on my uh, Vega tire riding in delirium by the way I've not hit tilt back yet don't need to check down I'm coming up on 250 miles on my one wheel which all in all is not that much compared to uh, some riders out there not that much at all um, you know the fact that I have so many PEVs my riding time gets spread between them and I try to do it more or less equally so um, I'm surprised I don't have more miles on the one wheel to be honest with you, but it's been 250 miles of fun, let me tell you that. Random segue, uh, I wanted to mention with the dual tron also when I changed the tube yesterday, I did install slime this time. The puncture was a pinhole that would, would have been fixed by slime. Yeah, slime would have definitely handled that issue, so uh, I probably put about, about four ounces of slime in there. Uh, I haven't done the front tire yet, I guess I should. But uh, I'm a slime believer now. After uh, three years, I'm finally a slime believer. Definitely have to keep your head on a swivel here. Just waiting for someone to pull out without looking. Happens quite often. Oh, for the, uh, you loyal live stream viewers, just a heads up, I did mention at the end of the live stream last week, I wasn't sure if I was going to be having it in two weeks or not on the 24th, but. Uh, I check with Cindy, she's good with it. I'm going to have my regularly, regularly scheduled live stream Sunday, March 24th at 8 p.m. So, mark your calendar. Cindy was making productive use of her time shopping on Victoria's Secret. That's good. It's good to get stuff done. So I'm back. It's a fun little ride. Cindy, did you have fun? I had a great time. Thank you. Great time. So if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big like. Tell me what you think about the one wheel pint below. As well as your other uh, comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts. Hope you're having a good weekend. That's all I have for you for now. Until next time, stuff me now. Do you have any snappy one-liners? No. no. Happy St. Patty's Day. Just a quick note. My mother's aunt Nadine, which is my great aunt, passed away this morning. She was a beautiful soul. And I just thank the world for allowing her to be in my life. Okay. Sorry. Alright. Stuff me out. And Cindy. Good farm chick.